Hello everyone and welcome to the end of Pwn to Own Toronto 2023. I am Dustin Childs, Head of Threat Awareness here for Trend Micro Zero Day Initiative. With me is Brian Gorans, who's the VP of Threat Intelligence and the ZDI Director. Brian, how are we doing? Oh, we're very tired. It's been a long four days over here in Toronto <laughs> going through all of these bugs. It has been a great four days though. We've had some highlights and some hijinks and we've had just about everything. We had uh, withdrawals. Withdrawals. Bug collisions. Yep. Some great successes. A couple and, failures, uh, unfortunately. Couple failures, yeah. unfortunately, but some tremendous, tremendous research that we saw. Let's start with the Soho Smash Up. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Soho Smash Up is a special challenge. We have to start from the external interface of a wireless router, exploit the WAN interface, and then pivot to a different system within the LAN. So we had a few of them and they all succeeded, right? Yeah, it was amazing. Like normally this very complicated exploit chain, lots of things could go wrong, but at the contest this year, Everybody everybody was successful. You know, a couple collisions during it, but uh, everybody got shells on both devices. Yeah, it was really amazing to see it work. And Chris Anastasio led the way, won $100,000 on the second day of the contest through that. It was really great work. All the way to the very end, which was Team Viatel, yep. uh, which was amazing. They did the Soho Smash Up too. Uh, won $50,000 and two unique bugs. <laughs> we needed that bug to actually land so that we could pass a million dollars. Ever there was yep. a lot of people in the room waiting for that one to happen. And after a long deliberation during, in, during the judging with the researchers, with our team, with the vendors, uh, turned out those bugs were unique and they got $50,000 passing us over a million. It was fantastic. And of course, Pondo in Toronto wouldn't be a thing without mobile phones. Mobile phones were definitely a highlight. Samsung Galaxy hacked six times. Yes. Uh, although my favorite has got to be the one from Interrupt Labs. Sweet. Okay. All right. well, congratulations to the Interrupt Labs guys. Well done. They not only got everything off the phone, they were able to turn on the GPS tracker. Yep. And essentially turn your phone into a GPS tracker. Yeah, correct. Oh. The privacy implications alone for that are pretty interesting. Well, and they were actually also able to, to get access to the account for the phone. So if you had multiple phones on that account, they yeah. could compromise every phone on that account. So we yeah. had three on there and they knew we had three, which was kind of surprising. Yeah, kind of surprising and surprising to Samsung as well. I know they were shocked by it. Wireless cameras, wired cameras made their debut this year and boy, did we have a couple really good ones. Hey, we got Kodak t-shirt. Especially with the WISE camera, starting with uh, the one from Rafael Goyle. Yep. Um, he hacked it and essentially, if he had the IP, uh, the MAC address of your WISE camera, he could take it over and own it. Yeah. And that was amazing. Yeah. Uh, we saw a couple with just QR codes. Yes. But then talk to me about the Synactive one because we had to have the RF enclosure out for that. Yeah, we were quite excited when Synactive came and registered for the contest and said that we would need an RF enclosure, which we knew at that point that it was going to be some sort of RF attack or some Wi-Fi based attack. Uh, and so, you know, we brought two RF enclosures just in case one broke uh, and, and we set it up and they put the camera in there, they connected their radio and, and all of a sudden they had uh, they were head shell on the device. Yeah, and uh, played some Baby Shark for yeah, us too. Quite, yeah, quite fun yeah, over yeah. the camera speak. <laughs> It's off. Exploits off, right? They, they turned the camera into a Bluetooth speaker quite effectively. Uh, that is really probably going to be the biggest bug that comes out of the contest because that's a driver that goes with a chipset that's very common, right? Yeah, so yeah, it should that, I think the bug will likely impact millions of devices. Um, it will take us some time to actually get the disclosure process through, but you know, that specific bug will have a big impact on the, on the, you know, the people that use that chipset. Speaking of impact, we had a second mobile phone at the contest, and that's the Xiaomi phone, and I know we had some success, we had some failures, but we also had some interesting things where their app store stopped working during the contest. Yeah, there's some features that were mysteriously uh, turned off halfway through the contest, uh, and so we gotta investigate that one a little bit to see what's going on and maybe change our operating procedures with certain vendors maybe in the future. Maybe so, maybe so. I smell a rat. <laughs> but uh, hey, it was still some great research all around. The printers fell, the Sonos speaker was hacked a couple times. Overall, get this, $1,000,000. 
$38,250 we awarded over three and a half days. And that is just amazing, amazing research yep. that we saw. The winner is of the Master of Pwn. It's this beautiful customized basketball trophy. And that is Team Viatel, right? Team Viatel. And then uh, number two is gonna be Team Orca from C Security. And then we had a tie for third place, yeah. right? And that was uh, the DevCore intern team, as well as the Interrupt Labs team. The Interrupt Labs did a really great job too. Yeah. Had a couple of unfortunate failures and could have bumped them up a little bit higher, but. Yeah, patches, patches matter in this competition. Patches matter, so. yep. And the patches came out from all the vendors like over the weekend, right before the contest. Yeah, we spent the weekend updating devices, looking for new patches to come out, uh, sending updates to the contestants, you know, and overall, you know, the, the amount of effort that was put in by the team was uh, significant. And so yeah. I mean, we're glad that, you know, everything went really well with the contest. Well, that wraps it up for Pondo in Toronto, but it did not wrap it up for Pondo because in January, we will be in Tokyo for Pondo and Automotive. And then in March, we go back to Vancouver for the granddaddy of them all, which is Pondo in Vancouver. So an exciting Pondo and season yes, coming up yes, for us. Yes, right in the middle of it, so it's gonna be good. Yeah. So we hope you join us there. We hope you join us in Tokyo, or at least watch the videos. Follow us online at the usual places, zerodayinitiative.com. Uh, also, let's thank our sponsors real quick. Uh, we had Google and Synology co-sponsor the yes. event. Uh, they were very helpful for us, especially the folks from Google. Yes. They actually brought the Google devices to hand out to researchers for them to reverse. Yep. And I thought that was really cool. Definitely looking forward to future partnerships with Google and Synology uh, for this competition. Uh, you know, it helps us uh, enable the researchers out there to find more bugs, and you know, we're excited about that. Exactly. So with that, I will say thank you for uh, following along with us. Follow us online, and we'll see you in Tokyo. Uh, one, two. Woo! One more time, one more time, come on, come on, come on. Woo!